Pixelers! Welcome, Buccaneers, to the Pixel Pirate Plays. This is your host, the Pixel Pirate, bringing you daily first impressions on the latest and greatest indie games. Today on the show, we are taking a look at a game called The Dungeoning. The Dungeoning is developed by Nick D3000, his solo development, and you can currently play the demo for free on his website. It's all very exciting. So what is the dungeoning? Well, it's somewhat of a roguelike in that it is, I believe, procedurally generated. Uh, all the enemies are procedurally generated. It's damn hard and it has permadeath. It also has items and stuff. So let's go through those just quickly before we go continue on with the game. So as you can see, I've got all this uh, stuff already as we start. You start with all that stuff, uh, you know, from the beginning. Uh, same with all your items. So you've got potions and uh, food as well as keys. Uh, then you got your status stuff, or your strength, vitality, and so on, and your controls. Now, controls, I think, are a little bit buggy. I think the game is still in development, and every time I try and remap my Xbox 360 controls, it crashes the game. So that's not good. Currently, I am playing on keyboard because, for some reason or another, my Xbox 360 controller does not work in the game. Uh, according to their website, it is supposed to, so I don't know what's going on there. It could be on my end, it could be equally on the developer's end. As I said, the game is in... Oh god, now I'm poisoned. Uh, I need to drink a red potion very quickly, otherwise I will die. Here we go, and I should probably... Uh, take all those and an apple to boot. There we go. Okay. Now, I've forgotten what I was saying. Um, yes, the Xbox 360 controller. Uh, I guess uh, it's still in development, so I can't really criticize it for that just currently. And also, it could be on my end. I haven't uh, heard of any problems with anybody else, really. So, do keep that in mind and take my opinion with a grain of salt. In any case, uh, this game is very, very, very difficult. You can die quite easily. In fact, I think I'm going to die right now. Oh god, I am definitely going to die. This guy is really freaking hard. And I've got a ghost and a bat chasing after me. Believe it or not, the bat is actually the more difficult of the three. <laughs> there. Uh, he has the most health, uh, I believe. So, <laughs> let's get back into the game here. I'm really having fun with it though, even though it is quite difficult. There is uh, skill involved. Like, uh, it's not it's not punishing to the point of this is just not fair. It's it's punishing to the point of you need a lot of skill to play this game. Don't be crap. So, uh, yes. Like, that was crap because, uh, first of all, I got hit twice when I didn't need to. And second of all, I cornered myself. Uh, for example, taking care of ghosts, if you just sit there and, you know, pound at it, it's going to hit you eventually. You can get two or even three hits in without getting damaged. Oh god, I died. Uh, but you got to move away after that and then, you know, hit again if you can. So, also, I died there because I didn't take a potion. Ooh, looks like we found a secret. Not much of a secret, it's full of death. <laughs> Uh, even the uh, the bushes can kill you, and I've noticed that there are more than one bush. There is a healthy amount of enemies, which is awesome, and a healthy amount of things to pick up as well. So your interest is going to, uh, you know, be piqued by by this game. You're not going to get bored by it because, God, how the hell am I going to kill that? Uh, because uh, there's not a lack of enemies or. Or whatever and because they are so strong I guess uh, it, you know the the replayability is high so that's what I'm trying to say okay and you jump off there and get killed yes very good well done there pixel pirate <laughs> so am I up to uh, yes I am so I'm going to actually level up here uh, of course, I can upgrade four things. Strength, Vitality, Defense, and Magic. I'm going to go with Vitality. How many other points have I got here? Can't actually see how many points I've got left. Just the one. Okay. Right. <laughs> it really is quite punishing indeed. That's okay. Uh, you know, lots of people really enjoy that punishing aspect of games. This certainly does not hold your hand. It throws you straight into... The, uh, the problems, that is for sure. Alright, how am I going to get that barrel? 
Oh. Like that. Oh wow, it damaged me. Okay. <laughs> that means we're going to take another uh, potion. There are there are actually uh, uh, hotkeys for everything, um, as you can see in the options uh, earlier on. Oh god, that was not smart. Not smart. And he can chase after me, and I died because I jumped on the spikes. Well done, Pixel Pirate. Um, Yes, uh, so you can just take potions without actually having to go into the menu, is what I was going to say. Um, yes, so that is the dungeoning. If you want to pick up the demo, you can do so by going to the website. Uh, other than that, you can pre-order it, I believe. Well, I'm not 100% on that information. Uh, in any case, you can go to... Oh, wow, well, I died already. You can go to their website and find out all the uh, development uh, you know, aspects of the game. And to your heart's content. So that is it for today. If you liked what you saw today, do please remember to hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. You can also subscribe to me if you want to see more of my videos. And finally, follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash thepixelpirate where you can get updates on all my new videos as well as my incoherent ramblings. So uh, this has been your host, The Pixel Pirate. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you next time.